time to take a look at news stories making headlines around the globe. The Nigerian Governors Forum has risen from a meeting with the leadership of the Miyeti Ala Cattle Bridge Association of Nigeria, security agencies and other stakeholders. The meeting was called following an expiration of an executive order of the Governor of Undo State, Rotimi Akiri Dulu, to Fulani headsmen illegally occupying the State Forest Reserve to vacate within seven days with effect from Monday 18th January 2021. Arise News Correspondent Ferdinand Duorha has a summary of the outcome of the meeting. In a bid to find a lasting solution to the insistent killings, kidnappings and crisis between headsmen and farmers across the country, the meeting reached the following resolution amongst others. The security and welfare of the people of Nigeria is the primary purpose of government as enshrined in the 1999 Constitution of Nigeria as amended. The stakeholders are committed to the unity and indivisibility of Nigeria. Insecurity is a national challenge and not peculiar to any tribal region, but must be addressed by the cooperation of all. The order of the Ondo state governor was misconstrued and misrepresented by a section of the media. He only ordered those occupying the forest reserves in Ondo state illegally to quit. Criminals should be apprehended and punished, no matter their origin, class or status. Our security agencies have been trying to stem the tide of criminality in the country, but must step up their efforts in the fight. Also, there is the need to build partnership for peace and security with Makban and jointly wage war against criminality. Now, no one had sent anyone away from any state or region, but all hands must be on deck to fight criminality. That free-range grazing must be stopped to avoid conflicts between the farmers and the heathers. Strengthening an alternative security arrangement and making them complementary to the mainstream security agencies in Nigeria. Makban should embrace and be committed to modern breeding process by grazing reserves and, and practice ranching to prevent cattle roaming about. A standing committee comprising of farmers, Makban and the government be set up in each state to ensure synergy and result, creating an economic opportunity for every Nigerian and reducing opportunities for criminalities in our country. The stakeholders further prayed that all residents, visitors and settlers would work in harmony to promote peace and security across all zones of the country. Ferdinand Duroha, Arise News. Right, uh, this is where we talked about this meeting coming yesterday, it's finally yes. here and it's over. What's your take on it? Well, the rapprochement um, is encouraging. And as we know, this was uh, at the behest of the presidency after that disastrous statement made by the spokesperson of the president. So it's very encouraging to see. However, questions remain, for instance, um, how long and how effective, how efficient with the outcomes of this rapprochement ensure peace, lasting peace going forward? Because, you know, to kick against, yes, it's, it's part of the agreement, Mieti allies agreeing that proper ranching has to be done. But when would that be done? It's the same issue, it's recurring and it's old. Uh, to reject proper grazing, proper ranching, is to kick the can down the road. So until we have proper ranching, yes, they are banned on the age uh, herding, night grazing, um, on controlled grazing in, in the cities, vacation of the forest reserves. Again, the forest reserves are very important. Uh, until we see all of this truly done, I think this issue will remain. But for me, what was disappointing to hear yesterday was to hear the governor, uh, the, the, when the communique was being read by the governor of Ekiti State, say that, you know, this whole statement was misconstrued by part of the media. Again, the media is being blamed for an impulsive, reckless, knee-jerk reaction of some leaders, of some spokespersons, of some people. I think that was unfair. The statement by the governor of Ondo State, um, Rotimi Akredolu, was very clear to say that illegal herdsmen, you know, should vacate the forest reserves in Ondo State. And I think everybody should have understood that clearly. Mm. Don't they blame the media for everything? Yeah. <laughs> Hello, Dr. Fati. <laughs> well, we, we have just a few minutes before we uh, go on a break, but very quickly. I think first the uh, Nigerian Governors Forum, under whose suspicious this security stakeholders meeting took place yesterday in Akure Undo State, uh, should be commended uh, for the initiative. The intervention of the Nigeria Governors Forum uh, helped to douse tension 
because uh, for about two weeks or thereabouts, there had been very serious tension in the uh, Southwest, particularly in Ondo State and in Oyo State. And the rhetoric had become very febrile, uh, even between the uh, federal government and the state governments, with the statements being issued from the presidency, and also uh, between stakeholders in the Southwest and also their counterparts in the North, and between interested parties and pastoralists uh, who are taking residents or who live within the Yoruba communities in Ondo State and in Oyo State. So the uh, uh, <clears throat> Nigeria Governors Forum, bringing together the governors of the Southwest and the governors of Kebi <coughs> and Jigawa states who were in attendance, and the security chiefs in the uh, Southwest uh, Zona area, led by AIG in charge of uh, Zone 11, I think was a very good uh, move in terms of leadership, in terms of statesmanship. That's the first point to be made. The second point to be made is that, yes, uh, the uh, Mieti Ala, representing one party to the matter, and also the uh, governors, uh, tried to arrive at a number of agreements, of conclusions, which I think makes sense. Uh, open grazing uh, has now been banned. There is an existing judgment, 1969 judgment, by Justice Adewale uh, Thompson from the Abekuta High Court uh, that has been quoted uh, severally over the last few days. Uh, the governor of Undo State had also said, well, he did not say Fulani people should live Undo State, but that they should leave uh, the forest reserve, that there should be a proper registration of, uh, you know, uh, uh, cattle herders, and that there should be no underage uh, uh, grazing of uh, cattle, and that also, you know, major streets and uh, streets and the city centers uh, should not be included.